So you can imagine there's lots of factors influence behavior. Genetics, for a start, you know, a dog who chases could be you know, a herding breed with a tendency that way. Upbringing, whether it's a shelter dog, 17% of dogs in the study were shelter dogs. Whether they were kept in a cage when they were young, whether they were not properly socialized, whether they had any adverse experiences, whether they went to multiple homes, whether they were exposed to abusive treatment in earlier days. I mean, there's a lot of things, but the owner personality is a factor. One last thing, we did look in detail at, uh, in separate, separately really, with a, a scale that was called the Attitude to Training Scale or Attitude to Training Score, looking at uh, seven different sort of aversive techniques. You know, punitive training, and people don't really understand what that is, but it can be, you know, a hard stare, you know, a harsh word, spraying, rolling on the dog's on the dog's back, popping a choke chain and stuff like that. This could be counterproductive and either way is not really conducive to a good relationship with the pet, which brings us back to the beginning of the purpose of the Center for Canine Behavior Studies to try and make sure that issues don't develop between dogs and people so that the human animal bond is afraid or ruptured uh, that leads to surrender that leads to oftentimes euthanasia in shelters. So this is just, you know, our first step towards trying to help understand the relationship between pets and people. And, you know, it's kind of the give back for me, you know, sort of trying to prevent what is a terrible problem. I mean, 9 million dogs born every year, puppies, new puppies, 3.3 million go to the shelter or the pound, three times as many as any infectious disease. Oh, way more than all the infectious diseases put together, and three times as many as cancer, which is a major problem. And no one say cancer is not a major problem, but behavior and the effect it has, not by virtue of the behavior itself, but by virtue of the effect it has on the owner and their bond with the animal and their likelihood to get rid of the dog, is actually the biggest killer of all. So veterinarians should be paying attention to it. If your goal as a vet is to save lives and heal and mend, then this is an honorable way to learn something about behavior.